Nobody asked me to do this, bro. <laughs> but it doesn't stop there. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Bro You Whack, and it's St. Patrick's Day, the most Irish holiday celebrated here in America. I think you know what we're gonna be doing. That's right, the long-awaited Hanzo recipe. So today we're gonna be making... Really? Dude, I don't know how you girls do this. This is so annoying. It's hurting my eyes. No, today we're gonna be making a more full Irish breakfast, because it's St. Patrick's Day, and obviously this celebrates Ireland. Not, not, not really. That's like saying Cinco de Mayo celebrates Mexico, which some people actually think, especially at ASU. <laughs> but we do have a little public service announcement to let you guys know that Chef Uwak is in trouble. You guys might have heard the news that those same people that go to ASU that celebrate Cinco de Mayo thinking that it's the celebration of Mexico all also bought out all the toilet paper, which is unfortunate because here at Chef Wack headquarters, we need toilet paper because all of our recipes here are straight up I'm down to two rolls. This is legit my only two rolls left. But now it's finally time to begin the full Irish Mora dish. Now, I ordered five items online because, uh, believe it or not, nowhere in America has banger sausages. That's the actual name. Banger sausages and black pudding and stuff like soda bread. You wanna know how much all of this costs, all five items? $58 with $17 shipping and handling. What, what the fuck, Ireland? And also, speaking of Ireland, I'm still confused. Is Northern Ireland part of the UK? Or Ireland. You're lucky your population of women is majority of what I like. Redheads. Let's start this recipe. So, like every great recipe, <laughs> it starts off with a bowl. I'm gonna start off with making some soda bread. This isn't even soda! Okay, well... That looks like cocaine. Oh, yeah, that's cocaine. FBI, open up! Pour the water in the center. Take a wooden spoon. And then start mixing it in that order. Don't know when you add the soda, nor has it asked me yet. Now, you guys have seen me knead bread before, so... I don't think I really need to show this part too much. All right, there's our red loaf. What the? Beautiful, ain't it? Into the oven. And then we bake that for 40 goddamn minutes. Moira, do you think I just paid the money? I'm buying these ingredients. I'm wasting electricity. I got no more toilet paper left. And then we're going to bring over a small frying pan. I know a thing or two about small things. We fill this up with an inch of water. Again, I know we're thinking too about small things. Someone really named this thing a banger. <laughs> I can make more jokes about it, but they'd probably make jokes about me if they ever saw my banger. Anyway, slice are open. We just place them right here. We're just gonna take one after another. I'm sorry, I'm five. And then it says we need to cover these. Oh shoot. Is this the cover? Oh no. Oh shoot, this was it. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make an executive decision and just kind of scoop these out. All right, well, the sausage party is nice in proximity. But the next step in this recipe is where the disaster starts to come in. Step number two requires us to put baked beans in a separate saucepan. I forgot to get beans when I got everything, and there is a shortage of beans. I'm not gonna go trading my life on the black market for some baked beans. So, Ireland, if I don't get my citizenship because of baked beans, I'm sorry, but you, you you know what? If you really want this to be a full Irish dish, then I want you to come deliver some beans. So we're moving on to step three. Now we're going to be cutting some freaking puddings. Well, luckily we're going to be pulling a little tucker because I got black, I got white, what you... I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. This straight up looks like poop. All right, so we need to cut this into one fourth inches. I don't need a reference. Okay, so we're just gonna cut this like that. Yeah, there we go, yeah. Dude, why are they falling apart? All right, so we got some thick pudding, then we got some thin pudding. I mean, what you like? I know what my girlfriend likes. <laughs> or my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Again, what you want, black or white? This is more like maroon, if I do say so myself. Can you stop screaming? So now we're compensating with the bigger frying pan and we're gonna get some oil in there. I have a lot of sausage, oh my god. This is like back in my high school days. I mean, hold on. We're also gonna need to cook some back bacon. I, like, I don't know why I couldn't use regular bacon. Doesn't matter though, cause all the bacon sold out. This is so slimy. Dude, look at how slimy this bacon is. It just flops. You hear the sound of pre-processed food? Mm, tasty, isn't it? Hi. You know, I never even flip these over. Was I supposed to? Let's just check up on our boys. Ah, they're screaming. Ah! Okay, I'm sorry! Right, no, no, I will not be told by post-processed food! Oh my god, I was supposed to- Ow! 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 I didn't flip them over! It didn't tell me to flip them over! Oh, they're burnt like a crisp! Ow! 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 Let's let you cook a little bit more. Okay, let's flip these ones over too. Ah, you're being a little bit nicer. You're still popping! Dude, this isn't big enough. P pause, but it's not. Ah! 
This is a disaster. Okay, we got it. Barely. Still don't know what a putty is. Oh man, they got bored the bangers, bro. They banged their last bang. <laughs> Alright, there, there's the bangers so far. We're just gonna let those boys soak. And I guess while we're at it, we're gonna get these boys over. Everyone out of the pool. Everyone's done. Everyone's done. See, the worst part about cooking these black bangers is that I don't know if I overcooked them or not. Several bad puns later. Let's check up on our bread, shall we? That was so stupid. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, well, we made something. I don't know if it's soda bread, though. Ow, ow, I'm sorry. All right, so let's just get this big boy out of here. There we go. So a little trick that I said to see if soda bread's done is to tap the middle and see if it's hollow. Yep, sounds like my head. But you can't have breakfast without eggs. And I have two eggs right here. Just continuing on the game metaphor. Now, I would break these eggs to continue the bit, but we're on rations here. I don't want to die. So we got to make these two eggs sunny side up. Or I swear to freaking God. Who the heck got Blizzard to say, oh yeah, Boomer's favorite egg is sunny side up. Bro, she's not real. I've never made sunny side up eggs, but it can't be that hard. Oh God, this is going to be harder than scrambling eggs. Yep, there we go. Nice sunny side up egg. Uh, well, now they're gonna combine. Uh, honestly, that looks kinda cute. I wanna crack the yolk so bad. Of course, we gotta add some Peppa. Not Peppa Pig, though. <laughs> Cause we already cooked her. And then we gotta also fry some tomato slices. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't like tomatoes. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna separate the tomatoes and egg. Put a Berlin wall right in the middle of these two eggs. Oh my god, they're touching! No! Stop touching the tomato! No, I broke! No! Oh, come on, just get back on the side. No, god dang it, egg. So we got one perfectly sunny side up egg and, and one disaster, man. But of course our breakfast doesn't end there because now we gotta slice this bread. Wow, that thing is tough. I am sorry, sir. Look at that bread. I actually cooked bread. But how the heck are you supposed to slice soda bread? Ah, there we go. Well, this isn't a complete Irish breakfast without some Irish coffee of coffee beans I got from Target. Now I can write this Keurig off as a business expense. So how you work this contraption, you turn it on, you open up the lid, throw your coffee beans in there, and then this is the hardest part. You close the lid, oh! and then you pick the biggest amount, because I need two cups. I don't drink coffee. And then you wait. Mmm. Oh, honey, I'm gonna need you to go a lot bigger than that. What the fudge? This isn't two cups. Oh, oh, that smells like coffee already. Right. Whatever, we're gonna add some spices to it. The first best spice, brown sugar. And then we need some cardamom. <gasps> Uh, now this also calls for ground ginger, which for whatever reason I don't have and also Irish whiskey since this is Irish coffee Uh, <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening chief. <laughs> if you think toilet paper's bad, dude, all the whiskey's gone Boy, what do I use for my cup? I think the only acceptable cup is the Starbucks cup that a girl left in my house <laughs> Poor coffee or reusable Starbucks cup No, it's not enough! It's fine, it's fine, cause you know why? We're gonna use some whipped cream and we're just gonna All right, boys, the time has finally come to finally eat our breakfast. You know, no, we're gonna change the setting a little bit. This is our more inspired Irish breakfast. We got some sunny side up egg with a little bit of uh, depression. Black pudding, white pudding, fried tomatoes, some soda bread that I didn't toast, some bangers, just like my mixtape. We got some back bacon and of course, that Irish coffee in an American Starbucks cup. First, let's try the black pudding because I'm genuinely curious to see what this tastes like. Um, well, no, uh, it tastes like a very dry meat sausage type thing. It's not sausage, but it's trying to be sausage. Let's try the white pudding. I... Okay, this tastes a little bit better, surprisingly. Like, it's the same thing, but the color is different, but it tastes like, it tastes a whole lot better. <laughs> Let's try the soda bread. I mean, it's bread, but... Very thick. That's probably my fault though. <laughs> it's also very mushy. Again, probably my fault. <laughs> How about a banger sausage? Mm, I'll rank them, but the sausage, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't amazing. But it was, it was. Uh... Now, I like my bacon chewy, just like my women. That was not chewy. Actually, you know what? 
I think for the back bacon, you would want it crispy because it tastes very slimy. <laughs> Let's try the crispy part. Yeah, see, that's better. Definitely overcook your back baking. Let's try one of the sunny side up eggs. All right, let's see. Okay, so I'm absolutely mortified by yolk and the taste of it doesn't help its taste. Like, why does it have to be runny? And why does it have to taste bad? Just scramble it more, okay? Of course, the tomato, which I hate. All right, let's not eat that. Let's wash it down with some coffee where the whipped cream already disintegrated. Um, <laughs> yeah, I should have reminded you guys that I don't like coffee. <laughs> Here's what we need. We're gonna need some cinnamon toast creamer. Dude, I am so fat. It's not that much better, actually. I mean, if I'm gonna be real with you, this is the most successful dish I've ever made, but granted, it's just breakfast, you know what I mean? <laughs> guys, that was my Mora Irish breakfast. If you're from Ireland, please let me know how I did, because I, I thought I did pretty well. I just don't understand how the white pudding is different from the black. <laughs> but I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.